go on kind of a guided critique <clears throat> tour of anyone that, for anyone that's interested. So take it away. What I saw. Uh, when a judge goes through a, goes through a show to, uh, to look at the imagery, there's basically four things that you look at. We have what is called the form. The form is the visual properties, also known as the art elements, line, value, texture, shape, space, color, so forth. You look at those things and how those merge and how those work in the piece and what the artist is emphasizing, what their theme kind of is in terms of those. Then there's what's called the content. The content is what the piece says to you. It's kind of the emotional part of the piece. How does it make you feel? What kind of expression comes across from it? So that's what we call the content. There's the subject matter. That pretty much explains itself. Is it a portrait, a landscape, still life? How are they, what is their theme in terms of that? And then there's the medium. The medium is what it's made of and how those materials are used and how effective they're used, the continuity of them. And uh, so you look at all those facets and some of them, the visual just stood out so strong. Some of the content stood out really strong. And, um, and then I would just look at the, the uh, mediums and, and the subject matter and see how that all merged together to create a nice piece. So there's a lot that goes into judging a show. It's not as simple as you think. I just don't go, I like that, I don't like that, I like that, I don't like that. <laughs> I look at them and I analyze them in their composition and then I think about what they're trying to say and if they're saying it in a forceful way or if it's more subdued. Uh, I once had a professor in graduate school that told me we can never assume to know an artist's intent. So that's, that's pretty obvious also. You, you can look at something and you can get a different feeling from it than I get. It depends on your background, boggling. So the ones that got in here, I loved all of them. I thought they were all great or they wouldn't be in here, okay? So, uh, fairly qualified. There are some absolutes in art. Not everything is just opinion. It has to do with how things are composed. It has to do with how strong it works. And to some degree, the presentation, the frame they use, those kinds of things all affect it as well. Okay, so if you'd like to gather around and or get close, I'm gonna start with the best of show right here. So if you'll wanna move in. So Anyway, so this piece is just a beautiful piece of work. It's done in colored pencil. It is in what is referred to kind of as hyper-realism, which I like. I, I won't hide that. I do like uh, representational. That's something that I enjoy. Uh, but I do like abstract, because you can see some abstract pieces in here as well. But uh, in this piece, we have colored pencil. You have to get close to it. So sometime as you're going through, get up close to it. Don't touch it, but get up close <laughs> and, uh, and look at it because it's beautifully done. It is, the details are articulated so finely and the pencil is controlled so beautifully. It's just a pleasant piece. The lighting is beautiful. The shade from the hat across the face, the textures, all of it just is amazing. So I, I can't say enough good about it. I love it, it's wonderful. This artist, they're spot on. So they did a wonderful job. Good job, Judge. <laughs> this is an honorable mention. This is a sculpture of a torso. I found it kind of mesmerizing. It is simple, but yet it's profound. Does that make sense? I don't know, it's just got a nice sense of rhythm through the lines, the ribbing, just kind of brings you up and through it. It's got a nice rhythmical movement through the, through the uh, pieces that are uh, put together. Anyway, so that was very nice. Um, while we're here, this piece was amazing also. This is another kind of hyper-realist piece. This, now, anyway, this piece when I saw that, I just was captivated by it. 
<clears throat> you have to keep returning to it. You have to keep going back because every time you come back, there's new <clears throat> discoveries because of the monumental detail that's in it. It's beautifully done, and it's done of such a banal, kind of crass image, which is kind of a dump, and yet she's turned it into something beautiful. And uh, that's some, one thing I always wanted to do, was do a beautiful painting or drawing of a dump. I thought that would just be really kind of neat. And they did it, and they pulled it off. But when you, when you get a chance, get up close. This is done in graphite. So it's just your graphite pencil, and it's extremely beautifully done. The composition in it, the repetition of the V shape that just moves across the piece is just so nice. Everything in it, super. Um, the only thing I would change is the presentation. The frame is just a little heavy. I would go to something a little bit lighter. The same with the mouth. But it's spot on. Very, very nice piece. Okay. When I saw it on the slides, when I saw it online, I just was kind of touched. This is very strong emotionally. This is a piece, well, it has a look from kind of um, the earlier Renaissance. I don't know if you're familiar with, uh, oh, kind of like Roger van der Weyden, some of those earlier Flemish artists. It has that kind of but it has the contemporary sense of kind of touching you because right away you're going, there's probably something wrong here. Does she have cancer and she's on chemo and yet she's portrayed herself angelically. Yeah. Anyway, she's a, it's a beautiful piece. It's very touching to me. So, there you go there. So anyway, this is a beautiful piece too. This is, a, again, finely, finely articulated skill. There's a great deal of skill in photorealism. Just tool control is, is a great deal. But it's got some interesting, kind of a melancholy mystery to it. Yeah, and well, in the light, very much so. But there's also this sense of what's going on. This is the 40s or 30s, and this is some kind of a gangster trade-off or something. I, you know, I don't know, but anyway, that's a beautiful piece. Uh, uh, and behind over here, we have an honorable mention painting of the chandelier on the table that's out of focus. And if you get a chance to look at that, that presented itself so beautifully online. When I saw that, that was beautiful. Okay, and then this one over here, this photograph on the end, that's a photograph. And it's been manipulated to where it's just so painterly. It's beautifully uh, manipulated into a painterly quality. And there's a warmth to it and a touch. At first I thought it was a painting, but then the way they've manipulated it is just as beautiful. Okay, let's look at... Um, we got here. Anyway, this is the uh, first place I picked for sculpture, for 3D, and this is bronze. They, it looks so much like it's a fine, fine stone piece. So I was pretty amazed at the patina they got on the bronze, the surface quality of it. The sculptural sense of the ridges, and how everything is ridged quite beautifully and quite consistently. So it holds it together in terms of design. It has a nice design form to it. And it's just a little bit on the fun side, too. It's kind of playful. Anyway, I thought that was nice. I thought that was nice. Now this one was, this was one that I saw online and and I thought, well, that's just kind of a fun piece. You know, just the fox on the porch. And, but then when it came in and I got to see it and analyze it and see what's outside the windows and what's on the newspaper and, and all of that, I was just, this is a, it's kind of a political statement, which I didn't realize so much. But it's still, it's really kind of fun and, and interesting to see. 
because if you look in the, if you get a chance, you look out the door and you see the people in the background, and then as they move forward, you start to see like there's some sheep up at the front. There's like a sheep. It's like they're progressing towards the fox. So he's going to consume them or something. I don't know. <laughs> and then uh, and then he's reading the paper that says Obama won. So <laughs> I don't know if there's. Is he really? Yeah, it says Obama wins. So I thought, is that some kind of political statement? I don't know. But I just thought it was beautifully photographed. Beautifully done, photograph-wise, the lighting, and how they got all of this, the shells or whatever they are, uh, put together. I, I just thought it was amazing. So that's just kind of an interesting one. I don't know what else to say. Interesting. And, but beautifully photographed. Yes. This piece is computer generated, so it just has that highly polished three-dimensional finish that you can get with computer animation, computer imagery. And I thought that was just nicely done, playful, <coughs> but, but just like you could step into a make-believe world. It's a kind of a really nice fantasy type piece. So. Really like that as well. Okay, and then we've got the last, last couple down here. Okay, this piece is a watercolor. I am a watercolorist, and so I appreciate the value of brush control, of how things are manipulated. Um, the still life is, I mean, she obviously. Laurel. She obviously set this up and it's it's just beautifully done. The colorations throughout the piece, it's kind of an analogous color scheme with a little touch of blue. But you have to get close to this and think about how she's about how she's touching that. Her artist's touch and how the water, how she knows where to put the water and where she knows when to touch the paint in and when to pull it back. Because watercolor is a, it's a pretty tricky medium. I love it. It's it's really a lot of fun too, but it can be very frustrating because control of watercolor can be a little bit difficult sometimes. And this person knows how to control watercolor, so that was very very nicely done also. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous. Okay, and uh, she just sent the one. This is the one she chose of the three, but the other ones were amazing too. But this has got the expression in the face, the eyes, the textures, the patina, the whole thing just reads just really nice, personal, cohesive. Uh, it's just a very nice piece. So anyway, great job. And I didn't realize either that it was just a relief. I thought it was a whole head, but it came as a relief. So. Anyway, relief means it raises off of a flat surface. So. Okay, so that's pretty much the pieces that I wanted to cover.